Welcome to PLM and Vinyl, the webcast for everyone interested in SAP PLM and surrounding topics. In our show, you will see and hear the latest updates from SAP, Senate and our partner products, along with some customer interviews. And now meet your hosts, Paul Cassidy and Sascha Schwenker. Welcome to this PLM and Vinyl video session. PLM and Vinyl, I hear you ask. Yeah, Sasha and I both got back into vinyl records recently, bought a record player each, independently yep. but coincidentally. Same model, same time, same everything. Yep. Kismet. So um, what we're going to try and do is in interweave seamlessly our two great passions, product lifecycle management and rock and roll music, vinyl. So mm -hmm. uh, that's our mission. Um, I'm going to take the easier part of it. I'm going to pick for today's selection Fleetwood Mac Rumors, a near perfect album. And Sasha is going to do the slightly harder part SAP's Engineering Control Center, ECTR, in integrated with Senate Connect's Advanced Process Management Solution. Yep. Now, the question is why should we integrate why? this? Why do we integrate this? Very simple. Um, we have always the requirements from our customers, specifically from the engineers working in engineering control center doing their CAD check-in, check-out, that they would like to stay in this environment. Currently, they need to go out into usually the NetViewer business client or um, the SAP GUI to receive their work, so the workflow. So what we are doing with the integration is we are basically integrating the workflow piece inside the engineering control center. So the workflow tool is still a separate tool, but it's now completely transparent inside engineering control center. So you can start your work, you receive your new task, you can get information on the task, you can finish the task, all inside engineering control center, so that you don't need to go into any other interface inside SAP. So you can stay all day long in engineering control center. Sounds wonderful. It is. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Actually, no lies today. So what I show you right now live is the integration uh, in one of our systems. Let's do it. Good. Now let's look at the engineering control center with the integration into Senate Connect APM. So what we see here is standard engineering control center. I just have two windows open, the desktop and the object browser. Usually you could have a uh, couple of other windows like the assembly and the 3D viewer. C today we concentrate really on these two windows. Why don't you take us down to the tall grass and let you do your stuff? Yep. So what we see here is the, the desktop and uh, under the desktop we have the filing area. This is basically your, your project folders and what I did is I created already a folder for a digger shovel change and this is the object here, the shovel I'm about to change here. So what you see here down uh, on the lower side, you see Senate Connect APM, and this is really the integration into the workflow. So what you see here is my processes, all your processes that you are involved in, and these are all the tasks. So again, what's the difference? The processes are the ones you are kind of involved in, regardless if you have or have not a task there, where you may have a task in the future and the tasks are really the tasks you have on hand right now. And you see we have two tasks on hand, uh, one technical task here, which is already accepted uh, and unfortunately overdue, and I see a CAD design work task, which is in time and which is active and at this time not accepted. So what do I get also out of the integration? If I go to the process here, so this is the process section, I basically get all the information I need for this in, in for, uh, for this process. So I need uh, or I have information about the object workbench. So here you see this is the object workbench information. We see we are one objects to modify. Actually, this is the the shovel I should modify, and then I have another object for information, and this is a material master. What else do I have? Other objects here. I have also a change masters. So. For example, if I want to really work on this task and I need a change master, I can just use this here from the workflow. So this is the change master directly attached to the workflow. And on the lower side here on the my task level, I have similar information uh, like the object workbench lowdown and the objects. So how do I work now with the integration? The first thing is, and that's something you know, I need to accept the task here. 
So I can accept the task right away from Engineering Control Center and now the task is in work mode. If I need some more information about the process, I can directly go into Web UI and get some additional information about the process, but that's not really necessary for me right now. So what I'm doing here is I'm performing the task right now, so I'm in change mode, I accepted the task, you see the agent is myself, it will disappear or disappeared already out of the inbox of all my other fellow agent who got the same task. So what would I do? I would probably go into the shovel and say the first step is I would like to create a new version of the shovel. So I say create new version. So this is pure engineering control center functionality. Uh, I'm purely working with this, with this tool right now. But here comes the integration already. So if I would like to use the change number from my workflow, I can just drag and drop it over into the shovel. So you see, the system asks me, do I want to connect this? I say, yes, I want. And if I go on the shovel right now, it's now uh, part of my workflow. It's part of the engineering change number, and it will be part of my uh, object workbench here. So let's assume, and we are cutting a chart right now, uh, I do my all my check-in, check-out work. I would now obviously open the model, work inside the model, and this could take days or even weeks. Uh, we are all cutting this very short, so I say, I'm done already, and I would like to release my task. So what would I do to release my task? I would go again onto the task here, and I would say, complete this task. And that's basically it. I'm done with the task. You see it disappeared. If this task would have, and that's something we can look at the technical task here, if this task would have a checklist, I would see the checklist items. If this task has an evaluation like I need to approve or disapprove the task, I could do the same thing here as well. Usually this is not the case on engineering tasks. They're relatively straightforward. So they just need the information inside Engineering Control Center like we did. They got uh, all the information, the change number, the task itself. They accept the task, it will disappear. They work on the task, they complete the task, and that's basically it. Now they can move on to other information inside the workflow. If there would be a new task, it would pop up here already. Um, but they are basically finished with this one activity right now. Sweet, wonderful you, you make me happy with the things you do. Yeah, thank you very much, Paul. Um, so this is basically what I want to show you today uh, in terms of engineering control center integration with Senate Connect APM. I think you saw that there's a, or you actually still see that there's a very deep integration uh, Send it Connect really as part of the desktop icons here or part of the desktop functionalities. And this is basically reducing or completely eliminating the need of branching out into any other, ever, any other application inside SAP so the engineer can stay in his kind of natural environment here. Ooh, you make love and fun, or in this case, PLM. PLM, yeah. We hope that this will be more fun for the engineer they can at least stay focused inside the engineering control center. And that's actually what we wanted to show today. Great. Well, we almost seamlessly integrated and weaved our passions together. But with that, thank you very much, Sasha. And uh, as they say in rock and roll music sessions, let's take five. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. <laughs>